up everyone, JJ Game here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Yes, we are back. Uh, our first run went absolutely amazing. Uh, we played as Isaac, and we actually did really, really well. Today, uh, we are going to play hard mode, and we are actually going to play the new character, which is Apollyon. So, I've had a... I've read a little bit into this character and understand what the basics um, of this character are. So, to start off with, you can see that we start out with 2 HP, 2 Red Hearts, um, but we also start out with a Spacebar item, and uh, basically what the Spacebar item is, it's called Void. And what it allows us to do is if there's a active item, like a spacebar item, uh, that shows up on the run, we can use Void and it actually stores it in like muscle memory. So whenever we use Void in the future, it will actually use that uh, spacebar item. But you might be thinking, yeah, okay, that's cool. Why don't you just pick up the spacebar item? It's because it stacks. So I can have several spacebar items activated all at once, So, which can be really good. We could get something like Satanic Bible, which gives us black hearts. We might get the Game Kid, which gives us invincibility. And we can activate it all at once, which is really, really good. Okay, let's pick up this trinket. Why not? Uh, yeah, which is good. What is this? And also, if there's an item and it's not a spacebar item and we use Void, what it does, it basically gives us a random stat upgrade so we might get boosted damage or anything like that. Ghost Pepper, Flame Tears. Oh, this is cool. Ah, I shouldn't have picked that up. I stuffed up a little bit. Okay, oh god. Da, 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 da. This sucks. I hate these stone guys. Oh my god. How did I get out of that alive? Holy god. God is holy. Okay, this is gonna be absolute. Which do I hold to drop my freaking trinket? I don't want this anymore. I just wanna be able to shoot straight. Oh, go away. I hate this room, it appears so often. They, these guys basically get trapped behind the pot and they just keep shooting out spiders and you either get hit or you don't. You just gotta, you, you never, it takes a really long time to get through the room. Okay, Widow isn't that bad, except for the fact that this guy is just creating a thousand freaking enemies. What the heck's up with that? I've lost my spirit heart, which really sucks. That's why I didn't want to pick it up uh, at the start of the floor, because I was like, oh, I'd really like it for the next floor for a deal with the devil. Um, and if you're thinking it, no, you can't steal items from like the deal with the devil or the shop just by using void. You actually physically have to buy them either with your hearts, like in a deal with the devil, or with money in a shop. So, you can't just cheat like that, but it's still a really good item. I will take the HP upgrade, I don't really want a random stat. We will use this item eventually, I promise you, but it's just not at the start, I don't believe. Okay, these guys are going to shoot out goddamn spiders. So, I do have a key, and I nearly have 5 cents. I'd ideally like to get the 5 cents to get a blood bank on the next floor, but... How likely that is going to be all depends on the rest of the floor here. Whether we pick up any more uh, consumables like pennies or bombs or anything like that. I might actually go into our curse room. It's going to cost me one full heart. Uh, so it'll bring us back down to... Uh, just trying to concentrate. Uh, bring us back down to one and a half hearts. Which I'm uncomfortable with. That's three hearts. Three hits till I die or two hits depending on whether we're reversing a champion or something like that but I don't, ideally don't want to get hit before we do that all right there's our fifth penny so i'm glad i did fulfill uh the rest of this floor and, and actually do the rest of the floor uh, i hate when there's enemies in here there's another key don't mind if i flip and do so basically all we did was get a key out of that not too bad a key worth one red heart some circumstances yes that's going to give us access to our secret room our secret room, god damn it, our item room, as well as our shop on the next floor if we need, if we want to go. All depends. Hopefully we do get a arcade on this floor. We've got a 100% chance to deal with the devil. There's our arcade. Can you just die? Okay, there's a bomb. That is good. Alright, so we do have a blood bank there. I need to keep an eye out for tinted rocks because I really would like to go to get a deal with the devil, which it all depends on whether we take damage. Golden key, so obviously that um, that key pick up on the last floor is not going to make too much difference on this floor, but maybe on which floors it might. Oh my god, that nearly got me. Is this jumper going to come and get me? Yeah, yeah, it looks like he is. Stay over there. Let me get the, um, the void or 
the portal to another dimension. Oh god, big room. Okay, let's check for any tinted rocks as we go here. Definitely a lot of work in blowing these rocks up, even though there's no tinted rock there. And that chest, that stone chest is awfully tempting as well. Do we have our item room here? I, I'm glad we got through that room without any troubles. So uh, this is where Boyd comes into play. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick this up. We're going to use it. See, this book of revelations, it gives us a spirit heart. So now I'm going to pick up Boyd and I'm going to use Void. So now I have that stored in my bank. So every time I use Void from now on, I am going to get a spirit heart from it. Which is beautiful. Just beautiful, mate. And that really helps us. I was begging for a tinted rock or some way to get a spirit heart. And I've gotten two thanks to Void and the Book of Revelation showing up. Alright, come on, die. What is going on? There's so many keys, so many bombs. Let's go back here and let's access some of these. Is there a way that I can access like, all of them? I'm just going to go for this one. That is pretty much exactly what I was wanting there. Yeah, got both of these. Oh, troll bomb. Troll bomb. Oh, God. Not good. I was hoping that maybe I could have used that troll bomb to access the five cents there, but that didn't eventuate at all. I was too scared about getting hurt, and I ended up getting hurt anyway. I was better off taking the hit and opening it up anyway. I thought I could have avoided it, but... Wait, is it... I think that guy there I can't kill until I kill the rest of these guys. I'm not 100% sure on the champions, but that's... This guy here usually drops a key. Oh, no. There's a couple of different ones. Sometimes I drop keys, but that guy there, he changes the, like, gravity of the room um, for a little bit, and he can't get hit by tears. Let's pick up this. Uh, get rid of these guys. So far, so far, so far this floor is actually going really, really well. Uh, we picked up Book of Revelation, so as soon as the void is ready, we can use that and basically get a spirit heart every single time we use it, which is actually really, really good. If we get that to stack with something, like if we manage to get, like, say, 10 Fireball or something else like that, it will be amazing. Uh, there we go. Another key. Alright. I am going to go back to my arcade. Because we didn't actually play it at all, and I've got full heart, heart at the moment, so we may as well play it. Get a bit of extra money, as well as the chance to get a blood bag, or the IV bag. Uh, which is a little risky. It is a spaceball item, but I don't think I'd absorb it, just for the simple fact that it basically could potentially kill us. So every time we're using Void, we're actually losing HP. So I'm going to use Void. See, I want to avoid charge ready for the boss. There's a bomb for three cents. I'm going to use this bomb to blow up this. That gives me a return of 5 cents, so we get back up to 11, so it pays for itself plus a little bit more. I'm a little scared. I don't want to fight the boss with only one spirit heart and a half a red heart, but I think I might have to because I want the void charge ready. But we did use Book of Revelation, so we are pretty much set. We're going to be versing uh, Famine here, but that's the thing I forgot to mention about Book of Revelations. Every time you use it, it basically turns the boss at the end of the floor into one of the flying horsemen, which is pretty good. We might be able to get a um, a fully upgraded Cuban meat or a ball of bandages, which become super OP, and I've never actually got the full transformation of oh my god, Ghost Pepper, you were amazing. There we go, so ball of bandages. What do we got? Thank you very much, game. I will surely take Brimstone. I'm then going to use the Void. Yes. Yes. Now, we are, we are sweet. I could have used the Void on the Ball of Bandages to basically give us uh, random stat increases, but I, I like an Orbital. It protects me. This run is dead set overpowered now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh 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 my god, goddamn champion! Thank you. Uh, kill him, please. Like, please kill him. There we go. Alright. Boss Rush is in the cards at the moment. I would love to do Boss Rush, but we're going to have to move pretty quick. Uh, as I have been... Full of bandages saved me there twice. 
Uh, we have been stuffing around on the last two floors, like going back and playing blood banks and that kind of stuff, and it has cost us time. Like it's like, oh, it only took you like 30 seconds, but when you only have 20 minutes to get to the end of the end of all these floors and get to the boss trap room, is it, it adds up. It definitely adds up. Void isn't ready at the moment. Two of clubs is pretty good. The Amber is good. I'll use two of clubs. And then we'll go fight our boss. That way it'll give us a voyage. Oh, I didn't know it was an XL floor. But I guess I know now. Oh, I know we'll keep that. Ah, oh, my God. Stop. So our flank tiers are still... Ah, I thought Brimstone was charged. There we go. I will take percent. Ah, uh, I thought it was percentage, maybe a stab. So a luck upgrade. Just stay right there. Oh, I keep forgetting that these guys attack almost in straight lines every single time. So, oh, of course you would spawn a dude right when you die. I'm gonna use Void on this. So basically, that gave me a one percent upgrade to. Well, a, a boost in luck that you can see over on the left-hand side there, which is pretty good. Okay, so the XL floor is actually helpful. It means I'm going to get two floors done quite quickly because I've already finished the bosses. All I need to do now is actually find my two item rooms and then we can get out of this floor as quickly as possible. Ooh, okay, don't walk over the creep. A lot of people don't know exactly what those enemies are. Do, they create creep on the ground. There we go. Good old uh, 10 cents out of one chest. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Saw something at my window. I was like, oh, what's that? Nearly got hit. There we go. Okay, like seriously, I want my arm. Um... That's where Ball of Bend saves your ass. Uh, yeah, I would really like a increased fire rate. That is really worth it. Let me get one more uh, charge on my void. I don't think we can get another one unless we don't find our item rooms for a little while, but I'm hoping I'm going to find them pretty quick because we are still using up time here. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, well, it's a dead end. I just love Brunstone. You can destroy those portals before they even summon a single thing. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use... Do it. Yes, there we go. I was going to say, I'm going to use Void and then go pick up the battery charge, but I was like, what if I want to void both items in my item room? I don't end up getting a second charge. But it doesn't really matter because I found my item room, so we're going to find out quickly uh, soon. I think I want to pick this up. So, friend zone, fly buddy. I'm going to use this. I'm going to pick this up. Let's check out a shot. We have 22 cents. I will definitely take the battery, so a quicker charge, don't mind if I do, quicker spirit hearts, gonna use the void again here, pick up this battery charge, now we're getting HP, like no problem at all, we pretty much have infinite HP depending on how fast we get our charges, which is really good, another key, I'm gonna use my item, I'm going to use Void to get another Spirit Heart, because I believe uh, with the battery we could get another charge here by the end, of, by the time we get to our item room. How did that guy not die? I like shot him fully with a Brimstone shot, he's like, yeah, whatever. There we go. That up. Oh god, this room sucks. How, oh, Infamy saved my ass there. I was like, how did I not get hit? Infamy saved my ass. Alright, get this last guy. So there's our item room, so I was a little bit off in my prediction. So let's see if we want to void it. Actually, I'm going to take this. It's a damage upgrade, which we probably need, honestly. Just run through there. When you have a ball of bandages, a fly to protect you, and uh, infamy, there's no problems. You're not going to get hit. Okay, so I believe we have two floors left in terms of, like, to get to a boss rush. Try not to blow this guy up. There we go, perfect. I'm gonna wedge myself in here. Give me something good. Give me something real good. If you take all my money and don't give me anything, I'm pretty much just gonna blow you up, dude. Yeah, you're gonna die. 
You were dead, man. Alright. Moving on. Let's go down. So, yeah, about... We've got about six minutes to do two floors, I believe. Let's have a check. Yes? I believe so. Alright. Curse of the Labyrinth. An XL floor again. Okay. Let's do this. So, I think... Hopefully, we just need to finish this floor and we're... Oh, do, do, do. Got a little scared there for a second. Oh, I thought the red one was going to go on the fire. I was like, yes. Easily taken care of. Turns out I'm going to use this. I want. I really want like a, a mapping tool or something. Like, so I can, when I hit my face bar, like my void, I actually get mapping of the whole floor. But that's not going to happen that I can see. Alright, these guys are easy as brimstone. Makes life a treat. Wouldn't it be nice if the world was Cadbury? Human beings would probably just eat each other. There would be nobody left and a lot of cannibals. Yeah, it would get real fucking ugly real quick. Holy shit, he was invisible. Oh my god, this us the shit out of me. Yeah, spiders. Alright. Can you please just point me in the right direction to the end of the floor? Or an item room or something useful. Alright. Done. Void is nearly charged again. It sucks that we've been going in the wrong direction, it appears. But that's a good thing. At least we cleared out one part of the floor. This is why I want mapping, to make my life easy. So I don't just go in the wrong direction. We nearly have full HP. Holy shit. Void, battery, and book of revelations are just overpowered. Straight up, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pill. Range, Range down. down. Doesn't really matter all too much. We do have the Emperor card, which is pretty good. We could just teleport to our bosses if we get real lost. But I'm not feeling too pressured time wise, but it's. There we go, we found our bosses anyway. I would like my item rooms, is the thing I'd like. See, I don't know, I can't remember whether we'll be facing Mum on this floor or not. Like, I completely forget the floor names. Uh, so I'm actually going to put in a bit of work and try and find my... How did I not stand on the spikes there? Uh, my item rooms, because I really would like to get my items before the floor ends. Where is this guy? Where is he? There he is. Get the nub. Hang on. And if we really want to speed this up, I can always use the Emperor card once I find my second item room and just teleport straight back to my bosses. One more. Use the Void, actually. Come on. There we go. Money. Tinted Rock. Refill my uh, heart. I actually have, like, max HP at the moment, so the Void is pretty much pointless unless we pick up another... Space bar, space bar item. Do this. Let's go and make the room easy. Uh, I really don't have the time to be doing this, but it's like, oh, better, better just check just in case. Oh my god, Infinity saved my ass. I was gonna get hit there no matter what, being an idiot walking on the street. Did it again. Uh oh, you're a jumper and I can't kill you to kill these guys. There we go. Now you're dead. Now you're gone, son. Void. Please finish this floor. My god, I hate XL floors, and we got two back to back. Like, what are the chances? On that. Wow, that's pretty good. Another golden key. We're getting, getting quite lucky. Okay, we found an item to start. Uh, Pokeball. It's not called Pokeball, but it's a space bar item. Friendly Ball. Gotta catch them all. Uh, I don't have a boy charge to pick it up. Alright. God damn it. Down here. Okay, that's our second item room. Hopefully this isn't a- Here we go!